A near fatal mistake under investigation in Nebraska. Workers at a funeral home were shocked to discover a woman was brought to them before her time. Oh my goodness. Here's ABC's Rhiannon Alley. Authorities in Lincoln, Nebraska, appear stunned by the case of a woman who was thought to be dead, but was later found very much alive at a funeral home. I've been doing this 31 years, and nothing like this has ever gotten to this point before. Police say the 74-year-old woman had been transported from a nursing home where she was pronounced dead yesterday. Two hours later, a funeral home employee saw the woman breathing and called 911. A 74-year-old female that was believed to be deceased and brought here is now uh, agonal breathing on the table. Funeral home staff conducted CPR on the woman and she was rushed to the hospital where her family was told she's still alive. The sheriff's office is investigating, but no charges are pending. I'm sure they'll look at see if new protocols need to be made or if they were all followed. Because the woman's death had been anticipated, the nursing home was not required to call authorities after pronouncing her dead. Rihanna Alley, ABC News, New York. Hmm. Wow, folks, welcome back. George here. Yeah, that's the story I'm wanting to cover today and share with you. What do you folks think about that? How sad is that, folks? Um, so the story about this lady, her name is a uh, constant glance and uh, she was 74 years old now right now i am in waverly nebraska this is uh, google earth and um, i'm in a neighborhood um, that uh, is real close to the the facility uh, where um, constance was at and um, this is actually the nursing home right here. And this is the Mulberry uh, Nursing Home in Waverly, uh, Nebraska. And from what the story is telling us is that um, Constance was uh, not doing too good and she was on hospice care. And so, folks, you know when you're on hospice care, that's pretty much the end of the line. At least that's what the doctors are saying, you know. And um, and it's just a matter of time that you would be not, you know, going to survive. So, but they were keeping an eye on her from what uh, reports are saying. Um, but um, they went in to check, check on her and... They seen that she was, um, well, she wasn't alive. At least it appeared. I mean, she didn't have a heartbeat. And so the nurse had requested, this is allegedly what happened, but um, the nurse had requested a doctor, a physician to come in, check her. And so the, phys the physician did check her and he... Uh, or he or she, I'm not sure if it was a male or female doctor, uh, I believe it was a lady doctor, uh, had announced her uh, passing. Now, they didn't call the uh, coroner on this uh, because from what I understand, the um, the rules are, is that, or the laws is, I guess, is our protocol is that uh, when... Uh, person's on hospice care and they're expected to die anyway you don't have to call a you don't have to call a um, the coroner okay so what they did they went ahead and they called the family and they told the family that hey you know your um, your family your your uh, your mom well um, she just passed and um, so, and they tell her that, hey, we're going to be taking her to the mortuary uh, to get her ready for her funeral. And this is the mortuary that they took her to. And um, so, and this is the uh, brothers. Uh, the Brutus, 
Maser and Love uh, Mortuary. So they took her in here and brought her in here and there was a nurse they had rode with uh, Candace uh, to this location uh, and still no signs of anything going on. So, well, the attendants here at the uh, mortuary, well, they were getting her ready for her funeral. You know, they're getting ready to, I guess, you know, get the, um, um, you know, uh, the abomination, and I guess, whatever they call it, to get you ready for, you know, your viewing or your funeral. Well, they um, noticed there was the attendants, from what I understand, the attendants noticed that there was something, something strange going on with um, Candace, with uh, or Constance, um, excuse me, um, that they noticed she was breathing. She started breathing. But she wasn't dead. Well, they immediately called the emergency service, and they had uh, them to come and take uh, Constance Glance to the hospital. Now, like I said, Constance was 74 years old, and you know she wasn't doing good, but she would she she decided she's going she's not going to be dead. She's coming back to life. Well, they got her to the hospital, and they were, uh, you know, trying to stabilize her. And um, but by the time she, at the time, from what the report said, when she made it to the hospital, she was alive. But then she did pass away at the hospital. So she didn't. She didn't last long once she got to the hospital. But bless her heart, she tried to hang on to this old world as long as she could, right? She didn't want to go into the spirit world just in, you know, anytime soon. But uh, unfortunately, you know, it was her time to go. So I think it's just such a sad, sad story of how this this came about I just you know I can't imagine with all the technology folks that we have in this world today how can this I mean how did this happen I mean I, I understand that things happen and mistakes made and I'm not sure if it was even a mistake or not saying that I'm saying that it is just really something that um, you know she was, you know, she was uh, found not living, and then all of a sudden, when she gets to the mortuary, she says, the "Heck with this, I'm, I'm living." So, but I did hear that there's this. This has happened in 2023. There was two incidents that happened not at this uh, nursing home or the mortuary, uh, but in New York. The, uh, the state of New York, there was a 66-year-old um, uh, male, I believe it was a male person, patient that had went, that was at the funeral home, and they, they said he was dead, but but he woke up, he sat up on the on the slab on the bed, gasping for air, and he was totally alive. I tried to find out what happened with that or who it was, but I couldn't get any more, not a whole lot of information about it. And then there was an, another one in, I um, believe it was Idaho last year. Um, and it, I believe this was an 86 year old lady. And she also went through the same thing. They pronounced her dead, took her to the uh, mortuary, and she, she come out of it. I mean, she was, she was not dead. So, the same with um, Constance Glance here. So this is my little dedication to Constance. Um, Constance in the spirit world, if you're listening to old George here, I'm so sorry you're, you had to go through this, but I'm really sorry too that your family had to go through this. Can you imagine, folks, just imagine um, getting a phone call and you're being told, oh, your mom, uh, well, she just passed away, and she's going to be taken to the uh, mortuary. And uh, you're 
thinking, you know, you're trying to get these emotions. Now, uh, you're going through the, the sadness of losing your mom and having to deal with that, you know, and then um, all of a sudden, a couple hours later or so, you get a phone call and it's the nurse that was with your mom that went to the mortuary and says, hey, by the way, I want to let you know that your mom, well, she's alive. She's alive. She wasn't dead. Uh, they thought she was dead. They brought her here to the mortuary, but she's not dead. And I, I'm like, how do you, how is that, what kind of emotion roller coaster are you going to be going on to, um, to deal with that? And then, to beat all, you're, you're thinking, okay, well, mom's not dead, so, okay. And then, maybe a, another hour or so, you get another phone call, and they say, well, I'm sorry to tell you that your, your mom has passed away. How are you going to deal with that? I mean, how do you mentally deal with that? So... That's a sad story, folks. It's just so sad. It really is. So, But, folks, let me know what you think um, on this. Is this one of the most bizarre things? I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes on in this world. But when it comes to your family and death, it's something you don't want to have to keep reliving. And especially with the same person, right? I mean, once they've passed, you don't want to... You don't know how, how do you deal with that? You know, I, I don't even know what I would begin to think. But I wanted to bring this story to you and kind of fill out, fill what you, uh, what you all think. Because uh, I just think this is, is one of the most bizarre stories. And for the, to know that it doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. So, well, folks, uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope that uh, all of you are out there are going to be safe um i'm working on some more stories so if you haven't subscribed to the channel if you would please do so it'll let you know when i've got another video coming out and i uh, always tell folks that hey if you have a loved one please give them a hug because folks this is just a fine example like i always say you never know just tell the person you're close to that you love them you know every day well, folks, I hope all of you will be safe, and uh, until next time, folks, this is George, and, well, I will see you down the road. Bye-bye.